Welcome back to the official Zap Hosting YouTube channel. My name is Sally, and today we'll be going through and showcasing you our 5M Linux server interface. So let's get started. On the dashboard page, you can find your server IP, start, stop and restart the server, check the CPU and RAM usage, and see how many players are online. On the statistics page, you can find the overall usage of your server. For example, you can select to see only the usage of your RAM, CPU and slots of the last 24 hours. In the DDoS Manager page, you can check if there are any incoming DDoS attacks. You can also choose between the Permanent and Sensor Protection mode, and if needed, enable notifications, so in case of an attack, we will inform you via email. In the Tabex page, you can create your own store to sell in-game goods. If you're interested in setting up your store, we have a dedicated tutorial video on how to do it, which can be found in the video description. On the log files page, you can easily find all your log files and open them with one click if needed. On the event log page, you can check who stopped, started or restarted the server, and if the server crashes, you can find the log file of the unexpected shutdown. On Live Console page, you will find the console of your server. This can be helpful if, for example, the server does not run after a mod installation or you want to pay close attention to what is happening. In addition, you can also run server commands to administer the server without being online. On the settings page, you can change the name and description of the server, make yourself an admin, enable or disable script hook, change resource settings if they are installed, fully reset the server, and much more. On the configuration page, you can open the server configuration file with one click and change any important settings to your liking. On the versions page, you can enable or disable auto updates or change the 5M version to your liking. On the resources page, you can find many scripts like Easy Admin, ECX Pack, QB Core Pack, and many more scripts that can be installed with just one click. On the Restore Planner page, you can easily schedule automatic restarts for your server. On the FTP browser page, you can find all the needed credentials to access the files of your server with a program like FileZilla, and if you need, you can easily access the files with a direct connection. On the database page, you can easily create, restore, make backups or enable auto backups of your database. You will also find the credentials if you want to access the database with a program like Navicat, and if needed, you also have direct access to the database with just one click. On the backups page, you can schedule backups or create backups manually, and if needed, restore the old ones. And that's it for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat, and they will be more than happy to help you out. Now, have a lovely rest of the week. Bye.